Hello lovelies and welcome to my video. So this is an art journal page in my altered book art journal. So this is, I actually haven't worked in this in a while. Actually, I haven't done any art journaling for a while. It's, um, yeah, I'm not quite sure what, why, but I decided to um, get back into my art journal. This is one of my favorite art journals. This is a book I picked up at an op shop for a few dollars and I just I just loved the paper and the size the thickness and I wanted to turn it into an art journal so you'll see when I was flipping through that there are a few pages I have done in here already and yeah so basically I'm starting with um I just open up to a random page I look there's a lot of the illustrations and drawings and pictures in here that I really love and I like to incorporate in my um into my pages but for this one I just decided to gesso over everything give me a nice even background and then start in with some paints so i'm using my new art by marlene paints that i brought um a couple of months ago and i'm just slapping some paint down so i've got um starting with a blue my brush is a little wet so it's helping spread the paint a bit and then i'm also going in with um this green which is called kermit which is um yeah, this one's coming, is it? Yeah. And, um, yeah, just mixing them together to get a nice background. So I didn't really have any plan in, in mind when I started this, honestly. Um, I just picked my colours and, yeah, went to town. I, always, I often find that when I start a page like that, it's, it turns into... I really do love how it comes together. Like, I never go in with a plan, very rarely. Sometimes I might decide to use a certain product or a certain stencil or stamp and then go from there. But in this case, literally I was just pulling things out as I was going. So this is all the products I'm using are Scrap FX. And this is a script stencil that I'm using. I actually haven't used this before. And I'm just adding it. I'm building up a background basically. Again, no plan in mind. And just, yeah, I, I love the look you get from a nice script, whether it be a stamp or a stencil. And so I'm using some black paint just because of the contrast. And I just love how it looks. I really I really do like a nice scripty stencil. So this is the Pods stencil. And I'm very, I've picked this up straight. I'm like, oh, this is going to look nice. But I don't want to use it as a stencil. I'm using it like a stamp. So I have gone to a random page in my journal I have sat it down and I have sprayed some ink over the top and then I have just slapped it on the page this is one of my favorite ways to use stencils um I love to just find different sometimes I love the pattern of, of a stencil so much like this one and I didn't want to spray through it and get the negative I wanted the image of the stencil if that makes sense so I wanted the lines of these pods so yeah the easiest way to achieve that is to um, ink up my stencil so I sprayed it with um, a dilution spray ink and then I just pressed it down to my page nice and simple but I love how it looks and this is a really great stencil to do that with at the end of this video I actually go in with um, uh, a fine line bottle that's got some black ink in it and go over this again and I love how that turned out you'll see that in the photo but you don't see me do that on video that was just something extra I felt like doing and yeah just really makes that pod stencil really pop so it was really cute again um this is a piece from um a collage sheet full of different uh quotes and things and so I just picked a quote for my page Normally, now, I read something in a book many, many years ago that when you tend to just choose an option or when you're using, you know, off the top of your head, if you're deciding between left and right, you you tend to go for your dominant side, which I'm right-handed, so you'll notice a lot of my things are on the right-hand side of when I do a double page. Apparently, that is something most people do. It's just... A decision that you don't even realize you're making you go for your dominant side I wanted to try one I loved the right hand side as it is right now and I didn't want to cover it up so I had that thought and I thought mm, let's throw it on the left hand side so that's what I'm doing because I didn't at first I wasn't going to put anything else I was just going to have the quote but then I thought no I need something else so I went and found one of these cool I love these figures you can get these in um 
collage paper or then also um, as cut aparts, which I just, I just love. They just make really awesome focal points. So I added one of those. I also like that she's looking at the quote. But yeah, um, I worked, I sub, not subconsciously, I consciously chose to do on the left-hand side. So um, yeah, one, it's a bit different. And two, I really liked the right-hand side. Um, I, I really loved it. I should have taken a photo of it as it was before I added um, these in, this pie spiral, not spirals, these like little pie chart thing. I can't remember the name of it, but I will track it down. But, you know, I just... I wasn't ready to stop playing. I wanted to add more and I thought, you know, this green would make a nice contrast and this stencil was out and I just wanted to keep playing. So that's what I did. So then, oh yes, I hit it with the heat gun. I, I do tend to cut out my drying time because it's just so boring to watch. Now, one of my most favorite tools is the Stabilo All Pencil. I just love using these pencils. I do have to admit, I need some new ones. They just tend to... I use them up very quickly. But I love to use them to highlight, especially my my words that I'm using. And a lot of the time, my figures as well. I didn't do that on this one today because I just liked it around the words. But I did go around some of my stenciling. Um, like, again, because I just wanted to keep playing. I wasn't ready to finish up yet. So I'm just adding marks and, yeah, going with it. So in the end, for my first art journal page that I've done in a long time like I have not cracked an art journal in a while I have to admit I'm pretty happy with this one so this is the finished photo as you can see if you look at those pods um they're a little bit more grungy looking and that's with the um fine line bottle with ink in it that I use I'll have to show you that next time I think so you know what I'm talking about but anyway that's it for now and I hope you've enjoyed the video thanks for watching bye